But we're not going to be like uh, mothers up there with all of our children being lined up and shot. And at 5 o'clock, we were told they're marching 100 policemen down the street to put them against the wall to shoot them. They're doing that to their people. What would they be doing to ours? That's right. Now, as it is, they'll say, well, you ought to have done so-and-so. As I look back, you ought to call a meeting of the United Nations or the OAS and have them debate for a while longer. If I had done that and 100 had been killed, they'd said, why didn't the idiot take uh, precautions and then call the meeting? Yeah. So either way you go, you got it. And... Uh, uh, but the point is this. We haven't killed anybody. And they haven't killed a single civilian up to now. And we have saved, uh, they had 1,500 to 2,000 Dominicans in the streets smelling dead. Yeah. But they're not an American because we surrounded them. We put our people around them. We put cut off the zone. And we have not lost an American life as of yet. Now, the snipers picked off six of our Marines from top of the building. But we weren't uh, killing Dominicans. Uh, we were there protecting Americans and 36 other countries. And we haven't lost a life, which is the most phenomenal thing that you ever heard of. And um, I told McNamara if the order's issued, I said, now let's don't get some wild bully or some captain that'll start shooting up the street when they invade on him. Let's get the best man we've got in the United States Army, send him, put him in charge, tell him to use a cool head. And his job is not to kill anybody, but to keep any of our people being killed. Now that's it.